guys this afternoon is centered on the Moric statement and this is a roadmap that is clearly clear the agenda of this uh, central government which is Fulanese they want to execute their plan planned by their forefather Osman Danfodio and they are really on it, they are hell bent to accomplish it, especially this time that their so called brother they are ruling with the name of their so called brother that they think that has the power to initiate and bring it into actualization. So that leads me to tell you or to bring to you this afternoon what Morik said. He said Murik backs Sharia in Southwest. Tell Christians to mind their business. Guys, <laughs> this is a hot one indeed. I just want to establish this background by reminding you what Otman Zanfodio said during his time that their target is to dip Koran in Atlantic Ocean. Without that, they would not rest. You see, this is one of the things that is giving them the impetus to do what they are doing today in certain region, precisely in Yoruba land. Because some of their governors are Yorubas, uh, sorry, are Muslim, and some of their citizens are as well Muslim. This was the way they, they, they encroach into them, dominate them, convert them to Islam so that they can use them to take over. But if the robbers did not open their eyes now, now they are gonna. I want to read through and hear what he said. These are the Saturn as they use in actualizing their plans in the Saturn region. Guys, it is so, so pathetic. So, 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 so pathetic. Let's read. The Muslim right concern, Murik, has expressed support for the introduction of sharia in the southwest the islamic group told the pentecostal fellowship of nigeria pnf and other christianity adherent to mind their business the comment followed a warning by the pnf against any move to introduce sharia law in yoruba states through ongoing constitutional review by the senate Murik director, Professor Ishak Akintola, accused Christians of always being forced to fire shot and hit up the polity. He said Christians knew, they knew very well that Sharia is Allah giving fundamental human right of Muslim, but are determined to deprive them using un unorthodox methods. Guys, I want to pause here. You see, these people don't know when they make a contradictory statement. You have been carrying constitution of Nigeria as a circular state. You have been carrying it hair wire, all look and cranny. This is a circular state, a circular state, a circular state. Whereas in that place you call the circular state, there are two constitution ruling them. Sharia in the north and the normal constitution for you know normal people in the south and that does not go well with you and you still want to bring the same sharia constitution to certain region these people are in the highest level but you can never take it over except Yorubas want you to take it over let's continue though PFN and other Christian groups are fully aware that Sharia was in the southwest decades before the arrival of Christianity. In 1842, Sharia was practiced in Ede Onda Oba Abibu, Olaguji Habeb, a Muslim name, and the Ede Sharia caught oppression, oppressed up till 19. 13 at Abeni area of town. It was moved to 
Abobon area in 1914. Sharia was applied in Iwo Onda Oba, Momudu, Lamui, Muhammad, Lamuye, who died in 1906. Even the seventh Akurun of Ikurun, Oba Aliyu, Oyelaye, died 1912. Instituted Sharia in Ikurun in 1910. These are just examples of existence and speed of Sharia in the Yoruba land. And the Christian leaders are not obli oblivious of the fact that it was the British Christian colon colonialists who stopped Sharia in Yoruba land and imposed Christian common laws. However, they are equally aware of the rising tides of Islamic awareness in the same southwest. They have been the hitherto passive Muslim community being transformed into an active, articulate, and political conscious populace. They are afraid that the sleeping giant is waking up to take back what belongs to them. <laughs> we record on Nigeria. To understand the siege mentality of Christians who, like all aggressors, believe that attack is the best form of defense. The Islamic group said, as the bene benefactors and inherit inheritors of a colonial rampage that listed more than a century. Sorry, let's take that again. The Islamic group said, as the benefactors and beneficiaries of colonial rampage that lasted more than a century, Christians are determined to keep all the loot which their principle benefited to them. They have forgotten that the only thing that is constant in life is change. We are worried about the disorder which has gained manif manifested in the PFM. That is Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria. It is a peeping thumb syndrome that peoples our Christian neighbors to crane their neck in order to see what is in the pot or soup of the Muslim. It is called giraffe. In examination hall practices, I can tell you record that the Constitution Review Panel asked Nigeria to forward their view regarding what they want the constitution to be. The director said, instead of telling the panel what the Christian wants, PFN was resisting on what they do not want Muslims to ask for. The issue is that, do the Christian want? It is clear that they have been over pampered by the colonial masters who handed over the common patrimony to them on a platform of gold so now they want nothing because they already have all they need but they want to sustain this status quo status quo because of its favor and its outcomes decorum courtesy and protocol demand that Christians should ask for what they lack and what they want, but instead of doing doing that, they are asking the committee not to tolerate the demand of Muslims. Yet Christians already have their own common law, and the Sharia has nothing to do with them. It is Muslim who need Sharia. The attitude can be compared to that of the dog in the manager, whose master gave it own meat and bone. The dog ate and was filled up, but when the master gave her to the horse, the dog came back in furiously in order to prevent the horse from assessing the grass. But do, but do dogs eat grass? How uncharitable can our neighbors be? Murik warned the, P, the PFN eats call travelers to steer clear of part of the Muslim in the south adding that okay in the southwest adding that the demand for Sharia is a civil right 
are not a problem. The statement concludes. Guys, what is your own take about this? Northerners are bent to bring Sharia to the southwest precisely because they know very well they cannot try that in the southeast. They cannot even imagine that in the southeast. As, as everywhere is boiling as we speak now, they cannot imagine that. Guys, this is their own uh, plan to bring Sharia. Let's see if your robots will look at them and keep quiet. And we are we all fingers keep across. Let's watch and see what will be become of them in Southwest. What's your own take in it? Can't tell me your own opinion. And please permit me, our time is far spent. Permit me to take two or three comments. This person said gradually they will converse for Sharia in Southeast, but will not allow you to ban open grazing don't mind them and that person said if odu the one nation come religious deceiving shall fall asleep because if you look what religion costs between two brothers you really want them to abandon religion white men brought religious and they painted black people as a black devil okay and another person is saying as we are going, we will still have a Christian country and a Muslim country separately in Nigeria. Don't mind them. And that person is saying, this man have, brain, have brainwashed problems. He just, he's just an enemy of progress. When they want to start a motekul, he is in support of it. Later, we heard that the Fulani paid him money. To act against Amotekun. I believe this time around he also collects money again to work against Oduduwa Nation. Thank you for watching. Let's interact at the comment section. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again in the next update. Bye. <music>